Hello friends, my name is Alea of Cozy Crochet Co, where I teach you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Prim Soft Grip Aluminum Crochet Hooks. This is what they look like. Aren't they so colorful? But before we get into the video, if you like crochet and yarn content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also like this video and share it to other crafty crocheters like yourself. Comment down below what are your thoughts and also turn that notification bell so you know whenever I post new content or go live. Alright, so let's get started. So, I saw these on Amazon and I love Prim. I love Prim. I love Prim. I don't know how to say this enough. I love their crochet hooks. They're so nice. These are the ones that I have and I bought these ones because they're, y'all know I love a good metal hook with a grip, with a soft handle on it. And so on Amazon right now, these retail for about $18 and they come in a set from two millimeter to six millimeter. So let's go through the sizes. So you have two millimeter, two and a half. You have three, three and a half. You have four, four and a half. And you have five and you have six a millimeter hooks. Don't they look so pretty fanned out in color coordination order? I absolutely love them. I'm going to compare it to the two types of prim hooks that I have. One hook is a hybrid between inline and incline. And then the aluminum soft grip is a true incline hook. Now I'm going to compare it to my boy hook. The orange hook is the prim and the pink one is the boy hook. And I'm also gonna compare it to the um, Clover Amore hook. Blue one is the Clover Amore hook. The orange one is the prim and the pink one is the boy. So let's get into my opinion of these hooks. So I tested these hooks out for about a month. I use them on different projects and I'm going to be honest, really the only hooks that I use was the four, the five and the six millimeter hooks. I don't really use like the smaller sizes. First thing I want to talk about is how stinking cute these hooks are. <laughs> they are so cute. And compared to their uh, other prim counterparts, the ergonomic counterparts, I love how they matched up the colors for the sizes this is a five millimeter and this is a four millimeter hook aren't they so cute they match up those colors perfectly and i think that is just so adorable i think that the price point of these hooks right now being what they are i think they are definitely worth it for beginners to try out right you get a wider range of hooks and you get to play around with them and it's it's reasonably priced so then if you lose one or you damage one you don't feel so bad and you can purchase a new set or move on to another crochet hook if you like the size of the crochet hook in my opinion like the crochet hook in general is about the same size as the um clover or more and a little bit smaller in the hook i mean the uh handle length as the boy and is a significant difference from their ergonomic counterpart. This hook measures to be about six and a half inches. Sorry, five and a half inches, which is kind of on the smaller side for hooks for me because I kind of like it to be a little bit longer, especially when it comes to ergonomic. Just putting the two in my hand, you can kind of see where it hits. Well, I guess this one's probably where it hits. I have relatively small hands in my opinion. Um, so, you know, that's always good to know. I think having them all together in a picture is super cute and they're super fun. And once again, I think these are great for um, beginner crocheters. I do like how they are brightly color coded and have just a really nice color palette in general. Um, because you can distinct from their different sizes especially if you have the other prim ergonomic hooks they have a very distinct shade so then you know and recognize which uh size it is without looking at the size so now that i got all of the praise out the way let's talk about some of the things that can be a 
improved with these hooks and honestly it's not not that many things right um I am very rough let me just say I am very rough with my hooks like I throw them in my project bag I throw I throw these in my purse <laughs> <laughs> they fall i have a toddler who plays with these sometimes um he, he might get his hands on one and run around with it or he'll drop it or i'll drop my bag i'll drop my project bag so i am very rough with my hooks especially when i'm testing them out because they go everywhere with me now i'm kind of like <laughs> i'm kind of like disgusted at how bad of a shape i i mean they're not too bad of a shape but they're kind of like in a bad shape and I, I'm kind of ashamed to show you what I did to these hooks because I was so rough with them. Um, okay, so first off, um, the this is the four millimeter. And as you can see right here on both sides, it kind of looks like the plastic is about to break. You know, the stress lines of me crochet. <laughs> <laughs> crocheting dropping it dropping in the car dropping it outside i put these things to the test um but after a month of wear and tear you do see that there's some stress lines and i think that if i continue to handle them like i did <laughs> they would definitely this one probably would be on its way out um, the other thing I want to talk about is the sizing of these hooks. The sizes on the hooks is printed. And I do feel like with more use, I mean, you can kind of see it, but it's somewhat already scratching off. Like the end of the four is kind of scratching off. Um, but because I know the prim sizes, I kind of already know, like just by looking at the color, it's a four, a four millimeter. Um, I wish that they would have printed it maybe lower on the handle because I have a knife hook and my thumb pretty much rests right on top of that prim and the size. So I do think that with more use, they could wear off. Um, so I do wish that it was printed or embossed or maybe printed lower on the handle and then embossed on the other side. But I think the reason why they put it uh, close on the top of the hook is because it's very narrow right here on the end also on this hook I don't know if you can tell it does have a nick on it so using um, some fibers it did catch on the hook now I was like okay maybe because I use this a lot and I um, dropped it a few times maybe that's why there's a nick on it but there's another one of these hooks that had the same nick that I did not use. Yeah, so the three millimeter one, I didn't use the three millimeter one, but as you can see, it has like some imperfections. And that could just be my, the set that I got, right? It could have just been a one-off thing. But that is one thing that kind of bothered me is because it did like, it was, I, I noticed it when I was crocheting. Another thing that I feel like, could be improved on it this is like just a plastic with the a finish on it i feel like there's nothing really like soft about it i mean i guess the plastic is soft but when i think of soft like i think of like squishy right and that's kind of what i expected when i bought these um but i was very actually very surprised i was actually very surprised when i got them and they were like a hard plastic with just a, a smooth finish on them all in all how do i feel about these um the things that bother me about these hooks are honestly just my opinion and probably don't like anybody else could probably love these hooks and use these hooks forever and ever just for me and my lifestyle they didn't really hold up to this test of the wear and tear that is my life i don't like that the um one of the things that kind of also drew me away is the printing of the size i feel like it's going to wear off um and i could be wrong about that but that's just one thing that kind of uh i feel like it could have been better for prim to do really good with these hooks um maybe i'm just really spoiled <laughs> with the ergonomic hooks and the design of them is just really good that maybe i compare the two a little bit too much but don't take my word for them i would try these out they're definitely worth 
trying out at least once so if you're interested in purchasing these i will be linking them down below now full disclosure it is an amazon affiliate link if you click that link and end up purchasing them i do get a little bit of a commission which helps out my channel a lot so that i can continue to do reviews for you guys um but yeah, that's all I have to say about these hooks. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be checking them out. They are definitely worth it. They're, I think the the colors are gorgeous. And for the price point, to get a whole set of hooks that you will be using on like any of your projects, I think it's definitely worth it. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And subscribe for more crochet and yarn content. It would help out a lot if you like this video as well and share it to all of your crochet friends. And that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, create something gorgeous. Bye, guys.